This was interesting. Renton says the heater for his house is operational. And Hannah's like, what? Implying that there's energy problems in the society. I'm going to crank up the thermostat as soon as the furnace turns Your furnace up. works? Okay, nobody has that much electricity. Not around here. The arc powers the house. So she says, nobody has that much energy. Not around here. I guess that means out in the suburbs, the devastated suburbs, I think that's where he is. Mm -hmm. And so she's surprised by that, which, which is interesting because one of the henchmen, actually the Hannah's kind of boyfriend person, mm. he's like using this butane torch to heat some food or something or drugs. Mm. With bread, which, yeah. <laughs> this is literally a I slice mean, of bread. <laughs> yeah. So this is energy in the sense that it's this is butane which mm -hmm. is combustible, which could be used for energy, yet he's sort of wasting it. That's so what's going on here? So I guess what Hannah is saying is that there's not enough electricity in the power grid. Okay. But that doesn't, but, but the other guy, he's got energy in terms of like fuel cells. Like you get these like yeah. reloadable butane, you, you know, mm -hmm. you turn the thing upside down, you plug yeah. it in. And, yeah, things, yeah. That, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. I mean, you guess you could use that butane to heat your house but i think you would need a large volume i don't know i've never tried to do that yeah but i guess what she's saying is the local power grid is a problem i see and i guess there's also the natural gas pipelines that go throughout american society yes and those must be down too uh, which i, I is... would say that depends on where what where and when your house was built okay because some houses do natural gas some houses do wood it, right. they're not so common anymore but and some houses do electrical heater Mm -hmm. I guess if natural gas was available, um, I guess Renton would want to use it. But yeah. if he could build assume, that piping to his house, that, that's yeah. complicated. Um, well, I guess I'm, I'm assuming he would choose a house that had natural gas available. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, I never thought about this. May not be his house that he purchased like before the collapse. He may be just squatting. I, I, I would imagine he's going through the suburbs. And he wants to find a house that is like not easy to locate, hard to pick out. Like that's a unique house. Like he wants one that would be obvious. There's like thousands of houses that mm. are all abandoned and dilapidated. And he's in one of them. Like draw no and attention. Draw no attention. And so he's able to walk through the abandoned houses and pick which one he thinks is ideal. Mm. Um, and I think the grid being down and the natural gas lines being down makes sense because it's they would turn off that they being the authorities would turn off the power and natural gas to neighborhoods that don't need it anymore. Right. Or even neighborhoods of your enemies turn it off, right? Turn it off. Yeah. Yep. Cool, but cool that also means there could be plentiful amounts of like hydrocarbons. It's just, Point. there's no distribution network to suck up the demand. So this could be relatively cheap, but you have to go into town to fill up. That's once you're out now. of town, mm. that's out. Once you're out of town, there's, there's really no. Con, you know, just We're going to get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just use it. Where else are you going to get use it? it? Yeah. So, interesting offhand little conversation between Renton and Hannah, but it tells us a lot about the world. What going the situation on. is. Yeah. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. 